Hello YouTube, when I tried to update my Apple Watch Series 3, I ran into an issue wherein there is no storage space left to download the update. So as you can see, I am opening the Apple Watch. So I have the Series 3 non-cellular version which has just 8 gigabytes of storage space. So when I try to download the update, so I go here, the update is uh, just under 1 gigabyte. So when I try to download that, so it says like it requires 3.1 GB of free storage space to download and to install. So as you can see, uh, I'm trying to update now. So yeah, I get this message. So it says you cannot update because you require 3.1 GB. And how can we do that? So the watch OS that takes a little bit of a space and also the applications so what i try to do is let me go into usage so i'll show you here so i just have a 2.7 gb available and there is 2 gb used so that makes a total of 4.7 or 5 gigabytes so rest of the uh, 8 gigabytes so that is taken by the system storage the os and those things it will take the remaining storage so let me do something let me uninstall the applications on the watch so this is how you do it you go into that and remove the applications so i'll remove all of them and once that is done so let me check if i have some other things so that i can empty the internal storage of the watch so let me check messages but messages it's just mirrored so that doesn't store on the watch so let me check out for photos yeah like photos the favorites one it gets synced to the watch so i'll just remove them so that uh, photos is removed and you may check like other application like podcast like music yeah like i have a couple of music files here so let me remove them i guess it's not even downloaded on the watch so i'm not sure like if it takes up space but to be safe let me remove them and so that's all i have uh, yeah, I guess like uh, there is uh, all these things. It just mirrors the um, notifications that you get on the iPhone. So that's nothing new here. So let me see the used again. It's same. It's 2.7 GB. I need 3.1 gigabytes. So the only way I can do that is to unpair the watch. So once you unpair your Apple watch from the iPhone, it gets removed all the temporary storage files and the files related to your profile settings and uh, pretty much everything it get refreshed so that you get back your storage so that's what i'm gonna do so uh, while unpairing it will ask for your apple id password so i'm gonna enter that and give s so all the things that is synced to the watch that's gonna get removed now so basically if you have the Wi-Fi only version of Apple Watch Series 3 and you want to update to watchOS 7, this is the only way left and you need to wait patiently to unpair the watch and again like to pair it back again and then you need to update it. So this one we had to follow for the Series 3 non-cellular version. So I am again pairing the watch so it takes for a few moment and it gets paired so and it uh, and while pairing again like uh, do not install the applications so it will ask for uh, the same settings so let me wait for that and as you can see it's getting synced so so once that is done it will ask for passcode so right now i don't require a passcode and so the updates i'll install it manually so emergency sos so this thing is important do not install apps automatically and so once it's syncing still okay so your apple id is gonna be used by the watch so that is fine so again it's still syncing the series 3 it takes its own sweet time to get synced up so finally it's done so now I can use my Apple Watch as you can see can to click it and it comes to life just like that. So let me go into update now oh, before that let me check like how much storage space I got by doing this 
and voila I have 4.1 GB I have 1 GB extra than the required 3.1 GB so now I can go ahead and update the Apple Watch Series 3 so let me go into update and okay it already started updating two hours okay cool I know it takes a lot of time fine so one thing you would notice is the seller version of series 3 has 16 GB of storage which is pretty good and you don't get many of the watch faces introduced with watchOS 7 in fact the only face that you get is the face face but the best part is that animations have been shortened and hence making the UI significantly snappier which is a good thing so if you are planning on getting a new Apple watch go for the SE do not get the series 3 hope this might have helped you in some way Thanks for watching, catch you guys in the next video, as, as always, peace.